Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back. Let's play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix on the PS3. Last time, we uh, finished up the Pegasus Cup by doing the uh, time trial, which was still reasonably hard, by the way, but we managed to get it in the end. Uh, I had to use an elixir, but oh well. The point was, we got it. And then we came to the 100 Acre Wood to try to help out Mr. Pooh Bear, Mr. Winnie the Pooh Bear here. And he seems to be confused about how to say goodbye to himself. Anyways, uh, something that I missed here. Go up on the roof, target the, uh, or don't, you don't even have to target, I guess, just hit it. And that knocks, that knocks something down in Pooh Bear's house. So let's go, and I don't think that bell does anything. And we get a Mega Ether for knocking down the chimney. I forgot about that, so, oh well. Yeah, you can ring the bell, but it doesn't do anything. Anyways. Now we're going to officially start the mini-games of the 100 Acre Woods. Let's go to that tree that we saw last time, this big one right here. A tall, curious tree buzzing with bees. Take a look. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's a real good way to make friends with someone there, uh, Sora. You're 12 times their size, and you just tower over them when they're not looking. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna work out real well in the long run, there, guy. Anyways, we gotta go. Uh, we gotta go actually talk to uh, Piglet here, and the best way to do that is to go around the tree so you can sneak up on him. Otherwise, he'll see you coming and he'll run away. I don't remember if you have to walk or not, but I always do. I'm sorry. Don't be scared. You're looking for Pooh, right? You know Pooh. Ah. Oh, you see, I, I have something for him. I have to take it to Pooh right away. <laughs> oh, Pooh! I believe I smell a delicious something. A something like honey. Poo! Hello, Piglet. How have you been? Oh, I'm so glad to see you. I thought you'd gone away. I brought what you asked for. <laughs> Thank you, Piglet. Now I can finally have some honey. Really? B -b 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 but how? I shall hold on to the balloon and fly like a bee up the honey tree, see? But if you take their honey, won't the bees be angry? Hmm. Oh. This bothersome bear will do just about anything for uh, some honey on his paw. And he's a chubby hes a chubby little bear. How is that one balloon going to carry him all the way up that big old tree? Eh, let's talk to him and find out. If he could only chase away those bees, I'm quite certain I could get a small morsel of honey. Would you help me get some honey? Should I help Pooh get some honey? Sure, why not? Oh, hello there, Owl. Good day, Pooh. What are you doing? 
using a balloon to get to some honey. Splendid idea. Allow me to offer a few pointers. Ahem. Now Pooh can get honey by floating up this tree with his balloon. The honey is inside the tree hollows, not the beehives you see here. There's quite a lot of honey in these holes. If Pooh gets too close, the bees will come out to protect their honey. If they get to Pooh, they'll pop his balloon, lock onto the bees, and swat them away. The more time Pooh has at each hollow, the more honey he can eat. There's more honey higher up, too. If jumping from branch to branch proves difficult, try the rush command. Rush can help you catch up to Pooh quickly, but it isn't fully reliable. Good luck. Alright, so we have to get a score of 100 or higher in this minigame in order to get the uh, cheer um, ability for Sora later. So, basically just uh, lock onto the bees, and if they get too close to Poo, just uh, target them with the, uh, your keyblade and do an attack. Don't press any buttons, because then you'll probably uh, end up... Um, you'll probably end up jumping off the tree or something like that. Yeah, like that, see? Uh... Now we gotta get back up there. See, there's the rush command. It gets us up there a little faster. And that didn't work out so well. Luckily, we got plenty of time to get those 100 hits. But it might take a few attempts. Gotta be careful when you lock onto the bees, because you can easily fall off. And the score you get is not from the attack of the bees. It's from letting poo get his honey. I think the best way to do it is just to lock onto the bees and then you should be able to... Ah, you son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Okay, that's not working out so well. But he's already a third of the way there. This can take a few tries if you fall off a lot like I'm doing here. Alright, let's try that rush command again. There we go. Yeah, see, if you try, if you do the uh, attack, and you usually, you usually get up to where Pooh Bear is, reasonably easy. And I'm not very good at that jump, am I? All right, let's try that rush command again. Ah, Pooh Bear, you little bastard! And somehow he it looks like he lost a point, but uh, I can't tell. All right. Let's just stay here, since we're next to Pooh Bear now. And I don't think we're going to make it this time, because me and him both fell off the trees too much. <laughs> ah, son of a bitch. Okay, rush. Dude! Alright, uh, you know what, can I just restart this? No. So I'm not doing too hot here. Yeah, and there's no way he's gonna get a. There's no way he's gonna get 54 points in the next 30 seconds. It's not really that hard of a mini game, just falling off. So, kind of a bastard here. Yeah, we'll try again. Oh, that was yummy in my tummy. But there is room for a bit more. The torn page turned into a new item. Uh, this happens regardless of whether or not you got the uh, 100 points. You get the nature spark. There we go. And that's a summon that we can turn into the fairy godmother. That summon isn't any damage at all. It's um, it's gonna be kind of helpful for farming. Well, it's supposed to be. I never use it that much. Ah, Pooh Bear. What do you say we try again, fella? Yeah, it doesn't matter what score you get. 
at this minigame, you'll always get that uh, nature spark from the torn page. The hardest part about this place is just uh, trying to make sure you stay on the damn branches. There we go. Rush is reasonably effective. You know, you were doing just as well down there getting your honey as you are up here there, Mr. Uh, Pooh Bear. Alright, let's wait till these guys get up here. I don't want them to pop the balloon though. There you go. You're doing good, Pooh. Once he gets 100 points, I'm just going to tell him to go screw himself because I'm not going to care at that point. And you only get so many items out of it, I think. And there we go. That's the highest of the honeys, I think. And like I said, they get more honey the higher up he is. And... Yeah, he's about to get popped. There goes Pooh's cherry. But yeah, we got this now. I mean, we got 78. He'll be he'll be more than able to get the, uh, the last 22 pretty easily. And now that I think about it, you might get some small points for beating the uh, bees, but... No? Okay. Maybe it just went up but when I was uh, near... Holy cap! He went from like 78 to 89 in a matter of seconds. That was ridiculous. And there we go. There is the 100 points that we need, so... I guess we can try to... Try to... Uh, try to get a higher score, but like I said, 100 is all you need for the cheer score. And I think 100 is what you need to uh, have recorded in the journal for your um, secret ending at the end of the game for normal normal mode. By the way, you can't get... I, I don't think I mentioned it, but you cannot get the uh, secret ending on um, easy mode. Or, actually, I think you can, actually. Never mind. I'm thinking of something else where you can't get the... Uh, Secrets on easy mode. I was thinking of something else. Never mind. You can get them. Yeah, now that we're up here, we should be able to just uh, lock onto the bees, kill them, and let Pooh Bear stuff his fat little face. Okay, looks like he's. Looks like he's had about as much honey as he's gonna get because uh, I'm not gonna get him anymore. But there you go. That that timed out perfectly. 196. Yep, that's plenty more than we needed. It is rather funny what I will do for honey. <laughs> He's practically swimming in that stuff up there. By the way, you don't actually get anything at the moment for uh, getting the high score needed, but uh, you'll see that little cutscene and you'll know that you got it. So let's go on to the other mini games now. There's like four more I think we gotta do. All right, so let's go to, where is it? Right over here. A broad expanse of vegetable fields. Take a look, why not? Any items around here? I don't think there are any items around here, actually. Most of the items you get are going to be from the uh, rare pages turning into stuff and the um, rewards from the mini games. I mean, th there's some ch chests around, but not a whole lot. Not in this area. Carrots? Pumpkins? Uh, that should be an M there, Mr. Uh, person who lives here. Or Mrs. Person, whoever lives here. I don't know. And cabbage. Yeah, I think the uh, carrots is probably the closest spelling. Actually, no, pumpkins is almost right. Just uh, just one stroke of the letter off. 
You know what? We should probably should leave those in the ground. Why not? There's a letter inside. I hope we'll be finding more honey together soon. Pooh. I'm assuming that's addressed to the person that lives here. Rabbit. Instead of me. There's Pooh and Piglet. Piglet. Look, Rabbit's house came back. But it looks like Rabbit isn't home. Pooh's been calling and calling, but the house says no one's there. The house says nobody's there? And maybe he's got a uh, smart alarm system. Who knows? Maybe, maybe the woods here are dangerous, despite the lack of enemies or anything like that. Let's uh, let's just make sure. Nobody's home. That's right. Nobody. Huh. Most houses don't talk back when you ask them questions. Maybe if we try the front door, we'll uh, see what's going on. I don't think there's any. Like, I don't think you can get anything for uh, like hitting anything in this area, unlike in Pooh's house, Rabbit's house. Okay, let's try the front door. See if that works. Who is this person named Nobody? We're not gonna find that out to the second game, there, Pooh Bear. Nobody. Have you seen Rabbit? No, no Rabbit here. There's no one here. Hello, Rabbit. He doesn't seem very uh, happy to see Pooh Bear. Why, Pooh? -poo, what a pleasant surprise. Nice to see you too, Piglet. And? Is this the new friend? Pooh, I'm sorry, but... I'm all out of honey at the moment. Aw, Pooh Bear can't find any snacks around here. So Rabbit came back too, but someone's still missing. Some places in the 100 acre wood are gone too. Oh, well, what to do? Honey? Now how did that get up there? Would you like some poo? Don't feel you have to, of course. Oh, thank you, Rabbit. I would like just a small smackerel. I'm quite hungry. You mean, besides the, uh... 196 licks of honey you got from the tree, you fat little piggy. You're not eating the whole pot, are you, Pooh Bear? I think he is. Once you start, there's no stopping you, is there? He's a greedy little bastard. Oh, out of honey again. What, what, does, a rabbit, what does a rabbit want honey for in the first place? Okay, apparently he has pictures of food as well. Carrots, and his pumpkins, and uh, he has a broom, that's nice. I like I like this little treehouse rabbit's got going on here. There's no bed for some reason, but other than that, it's a pretty neat little place. He's got, the, he's got a little kitchen area over here, a little dining area. I guess a bed could go over here if the bed, if the table was moved a little. But it's a nice little place. I like it. Anyways, uh, let's go outside. I think I heard somebody calling from out there. And there's nobody here. Alright, apparently there's nothing to do here, so let's just uh, head on out then, shall we? Uh, help! Please help Pooh! Now what? Oh, Piglet, it's you. You were so scared of me ten seconds ago. Did Pooh Bear get stuck in the, uh, wall? Ah, Pooh, you fat little bugger. All this because he can't stop liking honey so much. If Pooh doesn't slim down, my house will stay plugged up forever. If only there were something we could do. Oh, what to do? I'm gonna talk to Pooh Bear's butt. Oh, help and bother, I'm stuck again. Again? I guess he gets stuck here a lot. I came in through this hole, so it must have shrunk. Well, he's got quite some logic there, that's for sure. Let's see if we can't get him out from the other side.
There's my little Pooh Bear. Oh, how will, I eat? how will I eat honey if I'm stuck here? When it's lunchtime, perhaps you, perhaps you could bring me a honey jar. He doesn't even care that he's stuck as long as somebody brings him honey. No honey till you're unstuck. If Pooh doesn't slip down, my house will stay plugged up forever. If only there were something we could do. Wait, I know. A bit of carrot top juice will do the trick. I have a carrot patch on the other side of the stream. Carrot top juice is just the ticket to slimming down a, a poo. Not poo, a poo. Oh no! That spells Tigger. Well now, I don't think I've ever seen you before. Hello, Tigger. You've just bounced my new friend, Sora. Hey, Pooh. Say, you're looking mighty uncomfy today. Is that some new exercise? Why, bouncing around is a lot more fun. <sighs> well, why do you bounce around so much, Tigger? Why? Because bouncing's what Tigger's do best! Speaking of which, my bouncing spot has gone and disappeared! So for now, this will be my new bouncing ground! <laughs> Tigger's bouncy and will ruin my vegetables. Eh, Tigger's a great character, but he's no... he's no Hobbs. And if we don't give Pooh some carrot top juice, he'll be stuck forever. Please help me. Keep Tigger away from my carrots. This is quite a fix, but I have just a solution. Pay attention now. And it's the wise old owl to the rescue again. Sora, you'll have to protect this carrot patch. I guess they don't care about the pumpkins. If Tigger bounces on a carrot twice, it'll be buried. Once. Twice. And it's gone. Just like that. Protect the carrots from Tigger's bounces and you'll receive points. How, you ask? It's elementary. Simply get to the carrots before Tigger lands on them. There are 15 carrots here. Your score, dep your score depends on how many you save and how many times you block Tigger. Oh, and one more thing. The rush command is the key to a high score. Select rush while near a carrot that isn't buried yet. You'll dash to the target area before Tigger lands. Well, good luck. Okay, uh, this is going to be pretty easy. Uh, well, kind of easy, kind of hard. Um, you're going to be walking around here, and what you got to do is you got to use the rush command to rush to the carrot that uh, Tigger is going to be about to bounce on, and that'll protect the carrot. However, the rush command has a chance to overshoot the target, so it's a fair amount of luck involved. Um, you need to get, what is it, uh, 150 points or more in order to get the uh, qualifications for the cheer ability for Sora here. So this one might take a few tries. I don't know why he doesn't care about the... Uh, Pumpkins, maybe he knows we don't. Maybe he knows it's not the pumpkins we need. Beat, to beat Tigger to the carrots before he bounces them into the ground. Alright, see, okay, we gotta use our rush command like that. And yeah, sometimes the rush command disappears. There we go. Yeah, it's not really all that, uh, easy apparently. Dang it, okay, uh... Try this again. There we go. Got a whole two points. I guess what you gotta do is you gotta move a little bit. Yeah, that should have bounced, uh, blocked them, but oh well. You, got, you, gotta move, you gotta move a little bit in order to uh, get the rush command to appear. And this looks like it's gonna be kinda hard to get 150 points on. I don't remember being this challenging last time I played. I 
Alright, so let's see what score I got. Probably not that great. Time's blocked. 8. Yeah, that's uh, fantastic there. Carrot save. 12. 96. Okay. So... If we had got, like, a few more blocks, we would have been good. So, I guess we just gotta get the blocking part down, and we're good. Alright, so let's try this again, shall we? Hey, you kept up pretty good there, Sora. Especially for a non-tigger. Let's have another go. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now I better make that carrot top juice. I'll get the carrot, so please wait inside the house. Actually, where's my where's my tigger? Where's my tigger at? Okay, let's just go to the house. I think we have to. Um, I think we're not allowed to do the mini game until after Pooh slims down. Oh, what a day! I gave Pooh the carrot top juice. All we have to do now is push him out. Just a little push should do. All right, you big butt. First my vegetable patch, and now this. Oh, bother. Oh, where am I? It's ever so dark in here. Well, it isn't so bad, I suppose. <laughs> There is plenty of honey. <laughs> the torn page turned into a new item. Mithril shard. Alright. But we still gotta go back in there and try to uh, save the carrots a little bit better this time. Word. There he is. I was about to say, where'd he go? Hey, you look like you're in a bouncing mood. Sure am. Alright. Let's try to get this, uh... It's actually work this time. If I, can get, if I can get the damn bounce command to show up the first time, that should be good. There we go. Uh, what the heck? That, that should've... Yeah, see, we overshot that one. That's what happens is it overshoots it every once in a while. Okay, I didn't even try to move there, but okay. See, that's, it's not too bad now. As long as we save enough of the carrots, we should be good. Because uh, our rush... Yeah, we overshot that one a little bit, but... It's working out reasonably well. The problem is if you overshoot, the rush command has to be moved to get active again. Okay, I think we did better this time. Got 11 uh, saves and... 14 carrots saved. Okay, good. Perfect. We beat it by 4 points. Nice. Oh, what's going on? Nobody keeps up with tiggers! Hmm. Maybe there's something wrong with my tail. And there we go. There's our second mini game. That was probably one of the harder ones, actually. The, the first two are probably the hardest. The third one shouldn't be that bad, so we, we can do that this episode. Alright, and let's see. Where do we gotta go for that one? Uh, no, not there. We gotta go... Where is it? Here we go. A swing hangs from a stout tree. Take a look. Sure. Look, Pooh. Something is floating this way. I think you're right, Piglet. What could it be? Why, it looks like Eeyore. Hello, Eeyore, if it is you.
Hello, Pooh. Yes, it's me. Could you pull me out? That is, if it's not too much trouble. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. Where did, where did Eeyore go? By the way, the reason why I gave him that little voice is because Eeyore is a very, uh, depressed, depressed sounding person. I don't know if he is depressed all the time, it's just the way he sounds. Looks like Rabbit's trying to build a little hut for some reason. Oh, hello. Thanks again for your help with my carrots. What is this for anyways? Are you gonna tell me? No? Okay, screw you. Everyone's drift- Eeyore's drifting away. Sora, can you swim? I can, but... Let's see if we can't get him out. Where'd he go? He went... Oh, way down here. He almost looks like he's about to drown. Thank you, Pooh. Thank you, other you. You know, floating along out there, it seemed like something was missing. And something's still missing. Why, Eeyore's tail is gone. Is that what's missing? Let's see. Yep. Lost it again. Wonder where it went this time. It's not much of a tail, though I'm sort of attached to it. But I don't know why anybody looked for it. Probably won't find it anyway. Sora, why don't we all look for Eeyore's tail? Lost something? Searching from a high place is the quickest way to find it. Owl, can you fly up high and help us find Eeyore's tail? Sorry, but my eyes aren't what they used to be. Too much reading, you know. But I can offer good advice. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. See that swing up there? Take Pooh there. You're a bit too big for the swing, but Pooh should fit nicely. I'll tell you more when you get there. Alright. Let's go let's go swinging then, shall we? Pooh Bear? Oh, I guess we gotta Oh I forgot about that. I think Pooh Bear actually follows us here, doesn't he? No? I think he does, right? Or not. Oh dear, where could it be? Alright, Pooh Bear. Come follow me, my good sir. You know what? Let's just go up there and see if it actually... Oh, okay. We gotta target him. Okay. Pooh Bear. Winnie the Pooh Bear. He's a tubby little bear. I think if you go too far away... No, no. As long as you're targeted. Well, if you go too far away, you'll you'll lose the targeting, obviously. Now, let me just see where I gotta go. Alright. There we go. Am I targeted to Pooh Bear? Okay, apparently he gets distracted by the honey. Um, Pooh Bear? I think getting him up there is harder than the actual uh, mini game. Alright, come on, Pooh Bear, let's go. And I think if you go up here, he'll just try to walk up the uh, ledge, and it's not going to work, so we have to. Go down here so he goes around it. There's our Pooh Bear. Let's go get tubby little tubbers. Here's what to do. First, get ready to push. How? Like this. Like this. Then press R1 to give Pooh a push. Press R1. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Here's the next step. Press R1 before he swings back to the bottom. 
If you time it right, the pool will swing higher and higher. Try it. I'll help you with the timing. Press R1 when I spread my wings. Push too soon, Pooh won't go any higher. Push too late, he'll go too high. Press R1 at the right time to send Pooh higher. Okay, so this one we just gotta use the R1 button when uh when Owl has his wings open and we'll send Pooh flying. Um, in order to get the cheer ability, you have to send Pooh Bear flying uh, 40 meters or more away. And from what I've heard and from what I've done, uh, the best time to do it is uh, right when Owl has his wings spread out to the maximum and he's just about to start closing them. So that should do it. Alright, so there's a one right there. Once more. There we go. He has to get 40 meters and he missed it by one meter. Son of a meter. I don't think we can I don't think we can redo it right now. We have to come back here after we turn in the torn page into a new item, I guess. Where is Al anyways? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Oh well, 39 is pretty good actually. One away from what we needed, but oh well. Eeyore, are you are you still depressed there, big guy? I guess he is. He won't even talk to me. Let's all look very hard to help our friend Eeyore. I think I flew too far. Let's try again. Okay. Okay, so maybe maybe you gotta. Sh Maybe you gotta shoot him slow to, um, huh, he said too far, that's weird, alright, let's see how far that is, okay, there's our 40 meters. I don't know why he said it was too far. That should have been uh, perfect. Maybe you got to swing him a little less far than uh, the um, than the required uh, for the cheer, just to storyline purposes here. So let's just swing him a little bit then. All right, so let's go. That should be good. Or maybe not. I don't know I don't know the exact number you gotta get to get his damn tail. I forget that. I just know the I just know the ones for the uh, cheer ability. Okay, so you flew too far again. Alright. Who gives tired? Give him honey. I don't think we have any honey to give him. I missed. Dang it. I actually pressed the damn button there. Alright, don't fly too far there, Pooh Bear. I think he flew too far again. I'm not sure where exactly we're supposed to be aiming here. I think we're supposed to be aiming for that tree. Now that I think about it. Yeah, probably. And here I thought this was going to be the easy one. Maybe I'm just remembering my attempts to get the damn uh, cheer ability and not the actual real attempt. Come on, swing. I 
That didn't go anywhere near far enough, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, not even close. Dropping into the water. Poor Pooh Bear. Ready to try again there, Tubby? Perhaps I'll have to fly further to find Eeyore's tail. Let's try again. Alright. That should have been perfect right there, but uh, apparently it's the exact same as the last one. Thirty meters exactly. I'm hoping that's right in the tree. No. Where the heck am I aiming for? Where the heck am I aiming for this damn thing? Six meters. Where's that going to take him? Oh, there we go. Hmm, that looks familiar. How's it looking? There we go. It's not much of a tail, but it's mine. Thanks, everyone. I wish we could put the 100 acre wood back the way it was, too. So his tail was just in that little uh, hut right there the whole time. The torn page turned into a new item. Attain the power of time. Stop is now stop. Uh, there we go. So now stop has a. Uh, a wider area of effect. It doesn't last longer. It has a wider area of effect. And let's see how many more torn pages we actually have. Here we have... One more. I thought we had two more. Um... Ah, never mind, never mind. We're good. Alright. Um, let's see. Go to the journal real fast. The mini games. Here's all our, there we go, 96, 154, 42. I want to do um, that swing one more time just to make sure I got the, I got the uh, 40 uh, distance. Just to make sure, just, just in case it doesn't count if I do it before the, uh, before smashing the little hut right there. Oh, that's what, that's what they were doing. For some reason that's Eeyore's little house right there. I think Pooh wants to swing. I'll go push him. Alright, same as always. And one more good push. Alright, go 40 meters, that'd be perfect. Or you can go 39, you son of a Pooh Bear. says now. He didn't go really far, did he? 
Let's play on the swing. Sure. Okay. I guess you can talk to either one of them then. There we go. One more good swing. Alright, go 40. Okay, not quite. I think I'm good. I just want to make sure, though. So all the other ones, they gave you a cutscene after you got the uh, required score. There we go. That should do it. Or not. Okay. Damn. I wish you could dodge roll in here and make a getting around just a little bit faster. And you get used to having it too, so you're like, hey, I can't dodge roll, this sucks. Damn. I keep getting so close. This was more tedious than anything, because you have to wait for the little uh, flying animation. There we go. Okay, no cutscene, but at least we got the uh, 40 meters there. And Pooh Bear is not going to say anything different this time, I don't think, since we we're good, I think. All right, all right, and we are done with the uh, the first couple mini games of the Hundred Acre Wood. And next episode, we'll go for the last couple ones. So, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys then. Have a good night.